Oh, the bees are happy. Looks really good. Like, really, really good. I like it. I like it a lot. Really good. Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Megan. Today we have a great one for you today. So in this episode, we are creating a bee farm bee field. It's mostly purely for decoration purposes only. So I decided just to uh, talk through this and if, if y'all like it, let me know. If not, y'all like, y'all care for the music, then it's fine. I can do the music thing. But I decided to just talk to it today. So we're doing the bee thing and if you didn't know you can get a lot of health and a lot of stamina from the bees which it's great for later on in the game or before you start being able to cook stuff. Oh and also if y'all like this video please like it and if you like like just in general like this style of video or not please consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me. So right now what I'm doing is I'm placing uh, the fence around the like kind of like the barrier the cliff area and then what I just did I went to go grab stone to kind of like level this out to make sure that this is going in correctly and all that you want to make sure that you have also angles in your fence because you don't want just a square it, I mean, in some cases it's fine to have a square fence. It, sometimes they look good. Personally, when you're especially doing this like on a cliff or you're on an edge of something, or even a boundary of like this or decoration, I highly recommend you changing the angles to give it more, uh, like it's just a better look, you know? Because you don't want something square all the time. It's like those houses you see back there in the back. They're pretty much square, rectangle, you know, they're like a box. It's nice to have something different, especially with this bee garden field area. And I plan on putting more of these out into the village. I need to get more bees. Currently I do have way more bees than what would be shown here. There is more in here now. Because everything we do, we gather ourselves. It's not creative mode at all. Every wood, every bee, every stone we get is us legitimately getting all of these parts. So I just finished the, I guess, railing in a way. And I'm just, well, I'm guessing I'm adding the fish touches, but I'm pretty much done. So then I'm checking it out, see if I like it or not. And I'm pretty happy with it, but I need to you know, level stuff out and cultivate. Because I think at doing the cultivating, just as decoration, just adds a different color to the ground. Cause you know, you got the greens, you got the tans, you got the beiges and white. Adding this darker color does help it. So we're adding the beehives. I only have five, I believe. Yeah, five. And this one, there is way more there. I'm going to put in more torches, what it looks like. So I'm gathering the materials there to get more torches and then should be gathering more mushrooms as well. In case you didn't know, you can use mushrooms, those glowing mushrooms, which you'll see later on. You can use them for light. Very helpful. It's because torches, they run out of resin. Campfires, they run out of wood. They go a little bit longer than torches, I think. Well, 
I don't know that for certain, but I think they do. But these glowing mushrooms that you get from tombs in the bone um, caves where you get from the dark forest, or the black forest, you can get those there, and I highly recommend using those for light. They don't give off like a serious amount of light, but they give off enough of a glow to make it more I think, appealing. It's, it's better than just being in the dark. So here I'm just making the bronze because I need to make item stands and that's so that way we can stick the glowing mushrooms on there to give that more of effect that it will always be light kind of and I don't have to waste my resin or waste my wood on torches and campfires. And if you want to check out any of our builds that you're seeing right here, it's like I have the build of almost everything but the smelter. And we redid the smelter. So that will be coming up and I highly recommend you y'all watch that. It. It's by far my favorite build. This is probably my second favorite. As you can see here, I'm putting this on the fence, and I don't wind up sticking with this because I realize it's not what I wanted, and you see me starting to mess up with it. So, I wind up putting them on the edges of the fence, and then I wind up putting them on the ground. Again, to give it more of that light. You know, it just adds something. It's not always dark, because... If you've ever played Valheim, you'll realize in the nighttime it is seriously dark. Especially when you get into the different weather conditions, it gets dark. Okay, so here I'm placing those item uh, stains that I was talking about earlier. Just placing them down, adding the different types of mushrooms. And if you don't watch it, they will get sunken into the dirt. They are hard to find. And I'm having trouble right here finding one of them. Now I know where it's at. <laughs> So I think um, if you were to recreate this, I would definitely add more of this style of stuff. More mushrooms, more regular mushrooms, not just glowing. Just to give it more of that feel. I would also get rid of that rock. That rock is driving you nuts now. And I definitely can get rid of it when I log back on. So now I'm just adding a stool and mounted bench just to sit beside the tree. It's nice when you go up from the field up to the when you go up to the smelter, it's nice just to sometimes sit down if you like doing that. It's just mostly for decoration. Because again, we're trying to create a village here. So we're trying to create like one of everything and eventually move on into the different biomes. As you just saw, we just reached day 100. And I'm checking to see to make sure all of these bees are good. Obviously, I got one that's not good. So I had to remove that and put it back. But all the other ones are pretty good.
that's pretty much it you guys i hope y'all enjoyed this and if you like it like it if you liked us if you like this style of video you liked anything about this please consider subscribing it would mean the world to me but i hope you have a good day and now wherever you are and i will see y'all tomorrow in the next daily video goodbye